Munch, I want you to hear this one. This is um, a story on Stephen Kwan, um, a, a guy that has played really well, is, is struggling a little bit, is hitting about buck 90 in May, but uh, still hitting pretty well. Let's see how he adjusts. Take a listen to Stephen Kwan and his journey to the big leagues. Stephen Kwan doesn't look like a prototypical professional athlete. 5'9", 170, half Japanese, half Chinese. Asian American and small, especially as a kid, made his dream of a baseball career feel pretty distant. And so when you have this dream in your head, now you go, okay, now who can I look up to and who, I, who can I compare to? And I looked towards MLB and I really didn't see much. There was Ichiro, of course, but he was a superstar from Japan, not a regular kid from California struggling with self-doubt, which chased Kwan all the way to Oregon State. I thought like, I kind of like pulled a fast one on the coaches, like they didn't really know the real me. In Quan's first game, he missed a bunt, missed a ball in the outfield, and struck out twice. It just kind of fed into like my biggest insecurities. Like I knew it, I wasn't supposed to be here, um, the charade's up. It turns out there was no charade, just a big league player trapped inside a kid who lacked confidence. A hitting coach rebuilt Quan's swing, then did something even more important. He rebuilt Quan's mind by selling him on meditation. You know, it's going to change your life. You know, this is going to be the best thing for your life. And I'm like, you know what? Like, best for my life. Like, I don't, I don't want to be one of those guys sitting in a corner, you know, like, um, kind of like yogi style, right? Today, Quan works his mind almost as often as he works his body. I shoot for like four to five times a week. Stephen Quan, 5'9", 170, half Japanese, half Chinese, is giving the next generation of Asian Americans someone whose lead they can follow. And Munch, Munch, the thing I would say is let him get some time to adjust. So the, the, the league is, has adjusted to him. Let's let him make some adjustments now and, and see how he can adjust. There's no doubt the kid can play. David, you're going to like this. Going back to opening day, and I was rather blunt as, you know, I can be with Skipper Tito Francona because he was one of the first questions I asked him. I go, you know, you don't like playing young kids early on. You don't like them playing in the colder weather. Don't like them playing for opening day. And he just said to me in that sincere, knowledgeable, but humble manner that Tito is, he just said, you know, Munch, this one is the right thing to do. It feels right. I know it's right. And bang, he was right on that in a big, big way. David, you're going to like this. We'll talk about giving back to the community, actually. I just saw a release for Stephen Kwan and Yu Chang tomorrow. Little Cleveland plug here for the city. They're going to appear at the Asian Fest at 37th and Payne from 11 to 12. The Guardians are going to have a little tent there and they'll be signing autographs. So, you know, they could be relaxing. They could be chilling. Heck, they could be having brunch somewhere. You want to get out and meet the people.